In progress this morning on Capitol Hill, leaders in Congress say a series of new relief measures could be unveiled as soon as today, and a second round of stimulus checks could be among them. New 6's Crystal Moyer joins us live this morning with more on this. Crystal, this all comes as federal unemployment benefits are about to expire. That's right, Bridget. I mean, this coming week is the last that the $600 bonus that's added to the state unemployment benefits will be happening that's unless lawmakers can come to an agreement to extend it all this comes as congress is trying to hammer out the details to try to help those impacted by the virus instead of one big new stimulus bill republican leaders in the senate are now planning a series of smaller bills hoping to get at least some coronavirus relief passed so far republicans and the white house have agreed to put more funds towards testing but they are split with what to do with the rest of the one trillion dollar proposal some senate republicans rejecting president trump's call to withhold more federal aid funding from schools that stay closed during the pandemic I asked my Republican colleagues, what in the hell are we doing? There are talks of another round of stimulus checks for Americans, but some GOP leaders stopping short of the president's push for a payroll tax cut. The legislation that I've begun to sketch out is neither another CARES Act to float the entire economy, nor a typical stimulus bill for a nation that's ready to get back to normal. Our country is in a complex middle ground between those two things. And Florida Senator Rick Scott speaks out against bailing out states that are asking for financial assistance due to the virus. We, the Florida taxpayers, so I represent the taxpayers of my state, we will be paying for the pension plans of other states, we'll be paying for Planned Parenthood funding in other states, we'll be paying for um, uh, climate change bonds that New York has, $3, $3 billion worth, and that's not right. Now, Democratic lawmakers say they are united in their $3 trillion proposal and say it's a waiting game. Now, as far as those uh, relief bills, they could start rolling out as soon as today. For now, live in Orlando, Crystal Moyer getting results, News 6.